morning everybody so last night when i stopped vlogging a crazy storm rolled in i think it was storm matthew which was a category five storm so we're pretty restricted to the hotel which was crazy the storm was really really bad i tried to get a time lapse but it didn't work and um, but anyway it's past the sun's blazing um, and we're here at disney springs today so let's do it so we're just heading down the older part of Disney Springs, uh, Splitsville, Bongo's Cuban Cafe, you've got the dining theatre over there. We've got a reservation at the boathouse for half twelve. It was half two but I changed it because we've got things planned with friends later. So we're just going to head over to the new bit of Disney Springs and have a look because we've never been. Last year a lot of it wasn't open when we were here. It's all open now so this is all new to us so let's explore and see what we can find. We're going to head into the candy cauldron and watch them make some handmade Halloween sweets. Okay, so they weren't making any candy, so now we're heading into Superhero Headquarters. I think this is like a new Marvel style store. Captain America shield. This is pretty cool in here. Huh? Christmas, uh, Christmas tree decoration. Got some cool glasses. Got the mini key rings. Comic books. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So excited, Star Wars store. Didn't know this was here. So much merch. Three for fifteen dollars on the Sumsums. <laughs> so tempted to start collecting these, but we've just got nowhere to put them. Jawa, Greedo, Sand People, Stormtrooper, Christmas tree decorations. I've already bought two, so I kind of buy another one. <laughs> My tree, if I had it my way, would just be full of Star Wars stuff. That's probably the coolest one. And it is... $20. That store is so, so cool. <laughs> if you're a Star Wars fan, I highly recommend going in there because it's got so much stuff. I'm tempted to be a child and buy or build my own lightsaber. So I think at the end of the day, I'm going to go back because they actually make the sound effects. I know it sounds really, really childish, but I like collector stuff like that. And obviously if you get to build it yourself, it's even more cool. So now we're gonna head over to the new part of Disney Springs and see what's what. So we're gonna head into Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Been dying to try in here. We're just gonna get a drink, because as I say, we've got our reservation for the boathouse later on. But this bar looks amazing. So we've decided to stop, as you've seen, uh, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. And the main reason was so I could sit down because I'm having some issues with my Revolut currency card. Um, apparently I've reached my limit but it won't let us um, confirm my identity, which I don't know why, so I can't actually spend any more money. So we're in the middle of order shaving, which I was wanting to buy something and I couldn't because my card got declined. Well, not declined, but it wouldn't let us top up. So now I'm waiting for the live chat from Revolu so I can sort it out because I've tried to top up three times and each time it's failed. So fingers crossed the letters take the block off my card because there's quite a few things that I want us to buy down here at Disney Springs. So we'll just have to wait and see. The drinks are here. What did you get, Becca? Reggie's Revenge. Reggie's Revenge. And I got this cool looking thing. Um, I think it's called a clean headed monkey. It's got like watermelon and rum and whatnot in. And then perfect view along the lake to sit and drink them with. 
Cirque du Soleil in the distance. Jock Lindsay's hangar was really nice, great theming. Um, both of them um, drinks came at $25 with tip, um, which wasn't the cheapest, but you're not going to get cheap inside a Disney Springs themed bar like that. I've sorted the issue with my Revolu card, so now we're heading up back up to Art of Shave, because I need a, um, well, I've always wanted a shaving set um, to try and tame this a little bit. Um, it's $100, but it, the guy said it should last a year. Um, so I'm just going to head back up now and purchase that. So there we go, coming in a lovely bag. It came to $102 plus tax. Um, I'll show you that once we get back. So we've got half an hour until our reservation, so we're just having a little walk around. Um, there's the boathouse in the distance behind the trees. As I say, we've never been here, so we don't really know where we're going. So we're just going to have a little walk around and take in the sights, the sounds, the smells and then we'll head to the boathouse. So there's a lovely view of the new springs. Looks amazing, the water's so blue. We've got the hole in the wall, Raglan Road. And as you can see, it's so busy down here the day. Really, really busy. So we're just trying to kill a little bit of time before dinner. Okay, so we don't want to wander too far from the boathouse and miss seeing half of Disney Springs. So, 20 minutes till our reservation, we're just going to head inside. There's an amphicar, and we're going to go into the gift shop and just have a little wander around there um, until it's time for it to check in. So, there's the boathouse there, and then the gift store here. Some cool chairs. So, in the gift store, you can get custom um, life rings, custom paddles all with whatever you want on. You can get your pictures from the Amphi cars. Um, they do different price packages. I absolutely love one of these at home. So cool. We've got a lot of boathouse souvenirs, t-shirts. That's a cool one. Tommy Bahama. And they've got some boathouse branded ones over here. It's a nice one. And there's a boat right in the middle of the restaurant, right there. And there's a quick shot of the restaurant. Just waiting to get checked in. We've got loads of cool boat engines at the top. There's the boat again. I really wanted that table, but we're not going to get it. So while we're waiting to order, a guy came with some water and some fresh bread there, but the menu looks absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to go for the lemon drop martini and you get to keep it in your glass for $21. And Becca's going to go for the blueberry lemonade, so they look really nice. So there's my lemon drop margarita, and there's Becca's blueberry something lemonade. There's Becca's half smoked chicken, it looks amazing. And just zoom out there, I got the Yacht Club Club sandwich and it looks huge. So that was the nicest meal we've both had in Florida. It came to $106 with tip which really wasn't bad. Um, and we got to keep our glasses as well so I couldn't finish it. Um, it was so, so big um, so I had to leave it. So we're now going to head into the shopping bit of Disney Springs. Um, and we're going to hopefully go to the coke shop and try the sampling coke float thing. So we'll just see, see where we end up. You're watching Matt Florida Guy. We hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more daily vlogs, Florida planning and guide videos, plus vlogs from the theme parks. Follow That Florida Guy and That Florida Girl on Twitter and Instagram, and check out our t-shirt designs on Spreadsheet. And remember guys, stay tuned.